Hi, my name is Christer, and in this video I'm going to show you how the new constant handling function works in Visma Easy Group for you as a client. I will also show you what you need to do in preparation for the new privacy policy text that will be activated for all Visma Easy Group clients from the 2nd of May 2018. So, let's jump into it. Before continuing, it is important that you understand that since the new privacy policy only can be added on company level, you need to be an administrator to be able to work with it. To access the new privacy policy, click Settings and then Company Information. Now, on this screen, you will find a new tab called Privacy Policy. This is where you will find the new privacy policy. Visma provides a privacy policy as default in the new constant text box. The default privacy policy text have been translated into the following languages. This text will be used if you do not provide a text on your own. This text may be replaced or adjusted to meet your specific requirements to be GDPR compliant. The privacy policy text that is visible below the headline Active Version will be activated for all clients from the 2nd of May 2018. As you will also see on this screen, you have access to the tab About. If we click on this tab, you will find your current privacy policy that are visible for candidates until the 2nd of May 2018. Since you have access to both privacy policies, you have the option to compare your privacy policies and edit both of them. Let's go back to the tab Privacy Policy and see what we can do on this page. The first thing I wish to show you is how to edit the privacy policy and create a draft. When standing on the tab Privacy Policy, click on the button Edit at the bottom of the screen. As you will see, I am now in the edit mode and I can make changes to the privacy policy. If you have access to multiple languages in your Visma eSecret, you are able to switch between the languages to see the privacy policy text for each specific language. Now, I don't wish to activate my new text, I wish to save it as a draft so that I can continue at a later stage. To do this, I click on the button Save as Draft. As you will see, Visma eSecret have now created a draft of my new privacy policy here. If I click on the draft, I can see which user that have created the draft, creation date, and the privacy policy itself. The second thing I wish to show you is how to activate the new privacy policy. As before, we scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the button Edit. Since I created a draft of my new privacy policy, the system will use this and I can make further changes if I so wish. But in this case, I am happy with my new privacy policy and I wish to activate it. To do this, I click on the button Save and Activate. As you will see in this pop-up, Visma EasyCrete asked me to confirm if I wish to activate this new version of my privacy policy. When I click Confirm, the new privacy policy will be available for my candidates and the old present privacy policy will be archived. I click Confirm since I wish to activate my new privacy policy. My new privacy policy is now activated and I can find my archived privacy policy below the headline version history. Here I am able to see the version number, between which dates the privacy policy were active and which user that created the privacy policy. Finally, I am able to view the archived privacy policy by clicking Show. Now that you have seen how the constant handling function works, it is highly recommended that you as a client have a look on the default privacy policy text that have been provided by Visma. Since you have access to both the new and your current privacy policy texts, it is recommended that you have a look on both texts. You have the option to edit both privacy policy texts. Please remember that the new privacy policy text will be activated for all clients from the 2nd of May 2018. 
If you need further information, then Visma have created a PDF document describing all changes and it also includes practical advices in relation to Visma eSecurit and the GDPR. You will find a link to the PDF document in the video description. Thank you for watching.